In this lesson, we'll begin a review of Passport to Advanced Math Concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section 3, no calculator, question 2. And this is early on in the section, so we know this is not going to be too difficult of a problem. Question number 2. If x, y is a solution to the equation above and y does not equal 0, what is the ratio of x over y? So this question does appear, you may be used to just solving for a single variable, but here we want x over y. And so what we can do is just distribute the 3, and we get 3x plus 3y equals y, and then we want to get the variables on either side. So I'm going to subtract 3y from both sides, and I get 3x equals negative 2y. Now, there are two ways I can show you to solve this problem. We want to get x over y. So I can give you sort of the academic way. The academic way is just solve for x over y. Well, here's the 3x, what we can do Remember, we want x over y is we can just divide this by 3y, right? And then the 3s will cancel out, and we get what we're looking for. So this is one way to do it. Just divide both sides by 3y. Then we get the x over y. The y's cancel out, and the answer is negative 2 thirds. One other way to do this problem, and this is sort of a non-academic way, is I'll rewrite the equation here, 3x equals negative 2y, and we want x over y. A lot of students look at this, and they see the, the 3 next to the x, and the negative 2 next to the y, and a lot of students think the answer is just 3 over negative 2. But that's really saying that x equals negative 3, and y equals negative 2. And this obviously does not make sense. 3 times negative 3 does not equal negative 2 times negative 2. And so an easy way to remember it is you take the coefficient from the other side, and you just plug that in for the variable. So again, this is a non-academic way. And so what we can do is for this x, I'm going to take this number, negative 2. And for this y, we are going to take this number. And that's how you get it. So it's what I call flipping it. Again, sort of a non-academic way. This is sort of the more traditional way. But either case, the answer is b. We've got one more advanced math question. It's number 6. If r and s are two solutions of the equation above and r is greater than s, which of the following is the value of r minus s? And so here, this is a quadratic, and we have to factor it, and we have to find the two solutions where r is greater than s. Now, hopefully, you can solve this through traditional means. I mean, you could use the quadratic formula or completing the square, but I don't think it's too difficult. So let's start out with, we know it's 2x and x. We want two numbers whose product is negative 15 and sum is 7. So let's see. We know factors of 15, 5, and 3. All right. So we could have a plus 5. All right. That would yield 10x. And this could be minus 3. So hopefully you found that. Otherwise, you'd have to use another method. But I think this problem, you could solve it just traditionally. And then now we do have what we want, right? We have 2x squared, we have plus 10x minus 7x, which is plus 7x, and then we have minus 15. And so the solutions here are x equals 3 halves and x equals negative 5. But remember, we're told that r is greater than s, the two solutions. And so this must be r, and this must be s. And so that means we want 3 halves minus negative 5. So that's really going to be, I'll just do it here. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be 3 halves plus 5. And we want to now change the, the negative 5 in terms of halves. So that's going to be 3 halves plus 10 halves. And the answer, 13 halves. 